Hey guys, thank you for stopping by. I am going to talk to you today and show you with this spectrometer the differences between a cheap pair of Amazon blue blockers and blue block sleep plus blue light glasses. But before I get into this video, what I need you to do is to subscribe to our channel so we can keep this content for free and also keep you informed of each of our weekly videos that comes out. So if you hit the subscribe button below, that will be appreciated. And now we can get into today's video. So what frequencies of light do we need to block after sunset? A very important study came out in 2001 by Buckhart and et al. And people that listen to me talk quite a lot will always hear me re referencing this study. The reason I reference this study in particular is it is the most pioneering and evidence driven study out there that shows the exact frequencies of light that disrupt our melatonin after sunset and destroy our sleep. What these guys found was that there was a very distinct melatonin disruption zone. Take a look at the image on the screen now, and that is the zone. Everything needs to be blocked between 400 and 550 nanometers. That's all of blue light and most of the green light. If you block less than that, okay, you are going to leave a lot of your melatonin on the table. You're not gonna get optimal sleep and your optimal health won't be achieved. This is why it's important that when you find a good pair of blue light glasses that show on the evidence that they block 100% between the range that Buckart et al in 2001 showed, you grab that pair of glasses and you avoid the cheapies from Amazon. Blue Blocks glasses are made here in Australia. They, the lens technology is made in an optics lab, which makes it completely different from the cheapies that are made in, in a factory in China, three tier quality control process. And our frames are also high in quality, which I'll show you compared to the cheapies um, from Amazon that I bought a, a, a while ago when I test this video, how different they are. You want high quality metal alloys, high quality acetates, depending on what your preference is, rather than the cheap nasties from, uh, from Amazon. So let's get into today's test. Just to remind you guys, we need to block 100% of the blue and green light between 400 and 550 nanometers. So what I wanna show you here is here is the um, spectrum test results for the light in this room. Well naturally lit, not a lot of blue, but still some blue there to be able to test both these pairs of glasses. Now, first of all, I'm gonna test the cheapies. I'm not gonna mention the brand as I don't like to do that, but as you can see, here's the cheapy pair from Amazon. Pale orange lens. Now, when I went on the Amazon page for this pair of blue light glasses, they claim to block 100% of light between 400 and 580 nanometers. I can tell straight away by looking at these lenses, that's not gonna do that just because of the color, but it's interesting to see what they actually block and whether this brand of cheapies on Amazon, which are about 50 Aussie dollars, about 30, 30 bucks, actually block in line with the science. So let's test it with this lab grade spectrometer. Here you go, right. As you can see, here are the test results. It's not good, not looking good for the cheapies. So they claim to block everything up to 580 nanometers. But what you can see is 580 nanometers is right here and there's a hell of a lot of green light being let in. So what you can see here is they actually don't block any of the light post 530, 530 nanometers, which is not even in line with what Buckhart et al in 2001 showed was the melatonin disruption zone. So by wearing these, these things after sunset, you're actually not gonna be helping your melatonin production in the most optimal way possible. And also the claims of these glasses on Amazon actually is a complete and utter lie. It's, they're not actually blocking what they're selling you on Amazon. So this is why I always say, whenever I go on a podcast, whenever I write a blog, I always say, ask for the test results. And this is why I wanted to put this video out here to show that this nonsense out here is wasting your money and not helping your health and sleep. So let's test Blue Block Sleep Plus glasses and see what results we get. So here you go, a pair of custom Blue Block Sleep Plus. These are my personal ones. Um, they're very similar to the Mickey frame um, online at the moment, very popular. Now, as you can see, lens aside, high quality finish to the frames there as opposed to the, uh, the wooden ones on that particular brand from China down there from, from Amazon that I managed to get in in Australia. Now, um, 
let's test the sleep plus glasses, shall we? There we go. Okay, here are the results. As you can see, very different from the, uh, the cheapies. You can see here that all blue and all green light, 100% of it, up to 550 nanometers is blocked in its entirety. Now this is very important because as I mentioned earlier, Bart Carter et al in 2001 showed that 100% of light between 400 and 550 nanometers is what is disrupting our melatonin and destroying our sleep. So these sleep plus glasses from blue blocks block 100% in that range, not like the cheapies which blocked not even sort of 80, 85% in that entire range. You saw a lot of the green coming through. So this is why it's so important that you not only opt for a brand and it doesn't have to be blue box. If you can find another brand out there that blocks exactly in line with the science, then you need to get those proven test results to show that is what happens. That Buck Heart et al study, which is linked in the, in the notes below, you need to ensure your blue light glasses are blocking that amount. And what you'll find is these, these cheapies here, they won't do it. Any other cheapies that you buy, they won't do it. And also more is not always, more is not always best as well. I've seen Jack Cruz talk quite often that even blocking over 550 nanometers can be detrimental to our health as well. Um, definitely follow Jack Cruz. He talks a lot more about why that is the case. But you know, some of these blue light glasses block maybe up to 600 nanometers. You can get cheapies that do that. We've tried those and, and they do, they do block up to 600 nanometers. But when I tried them out and, and wore them around the house and, and got some of my friends to try them, they couldn't see anything. Everything appeared red. They were falling over things. They couldn't read. They, they couldn't see the writing in their books, etc. So it actually rendered them useless. So this is why we use this Buckhart et al. study in 2001 to create Sleep Plus glasses because they block exactly in line with the peer-reviewed academic literature. Definitely don't put a price on your health. Opt for evidence based and backed products and companies that can prove it. You might pay a bit more for these products, but ultimately you are gonna get the best health. You only get one life, you want to make sure you live it optimally. So opt for optimal products like Sleep Plus glasses, not the cheapies I've just tested from Amazon. Thank you so much for stopping by guys. I'm gonna do a lot more of these spectrum test results tests. If you guys want to see more of that, then please comment below so I know that you guys are actually interested in this but I thought this was you know, really prudent of me to jump on to show you that actually the cheapies aren't doing much for your health and Blue Blocks is backed by science. And I wanted to show you that live on camera with a very expensive lab grade spectrometer here that I've borrowed from my guys in the lab. So please, if you've enjoyed this video, please share it, keep it, get, make it go viral. Let's get the, the, the message out there and empower everyone. And please, please, please subscribe below to the channel. It really helps us. It keeps us moving forward and it helps us reach more people as well. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Love and light and have a beautiful day.